Hey guys, today we got a really cool throwback to an interview we did with Rich Vogler at Eldora Speedway in 1986. 1986? Yeah, that is a long time ago. Now we were at Eldora for the King's Royal, the third annual King's Royal, 50,000 to win. Rich was one of the most badass short track racers in history. He won 171 USAC races more than anyone in history. He ran the Indy 500 five times. And at the time of his death in 1990 in a racing crash, Rich was working toward trying to get himself into a cup ride. He didn't normally run the King's Royal in those big winged races like that, but I think 50 grand to win got his attention that night. Now the setup on the interview was, Rich was gonna start up front in the sixth heat race. If he won that heat, he would start up front in the main event. So let's hear from Rich Vogler, Eldora Speedway, 1986. We're with Rich Vogler, who will be starting on the outside of the first row in the fifth heat this evening. Pardon me, the sixth heat, which the transfer spot of the winner of this heat would begin the uh, feature, the 50,000 to win Kings Royal race, on the inside of the front row. Rich, how good of a starting position do you think that will give you, starting on the outside of the front row in this heat? Well, that's the place to start here at El Doro. Outside is, is the fast way around. Hopefully, I'll beat the guy into the corner and man, be able to lead the whole race, which will start me on the front row of the Kings Royal race. You've got some pretty heavyweight competition behind you in uh, Rick Burkle, Doug Wolfgang, and Steve Kinzer. Does that change the driver's uh, style, uh, knowing who's behind him like that? Well, a little bit. You just can't back off. you got to run wide open all the way around for the whole race, and hopefully them guys won't get hooked up good enough to beat me. And 50000 to win. How much extra motivation is a big payoff like that to a driver? Yeah, there's a lot of motivation with that much money. You know, we normally run for around $3,000 to win, which is a lot of money. But 50000 that's a bunch, boy. You, you can make a year's salary in one afternoon here at El Doro. In the feature, how much of a role do you think uh, the track conditions will play in how the, this race will be set up for and handled? Well, the track's going to dry out like it, like it normally does, but... Uh, some of the, the guys that are more experienced drivers and mechanics will be able to watch the racetrack and compensate for it. Hopefully I'll, me and my guys will be smarter than everybody else and we'll, do, we'll be able to take the win home. If you had a preference between a very fast, tacky track and a dry, slick racetrack tonight, which would you choose? I'd choose a dry, slick racetrack. It's a real tacky track. Anybody can go fast and just don't have to worry about hooking up the car or anything. Well, when it gets dry like this, you have to, you have, to have a, uh, a, some thought put into what tires it shows, choose. Uh, what stagger and gear and things like that and, and uh, my guys are working on that right now maybe we're going to show, show us the right stuff thank you rich and good luck this evening okay thank you man that's really cool stuff i mean for me Rich left us way, way too soon, and to be able to hear his voice and see his face and brings back a lot of good memories and actually gives us the idea that we'd like to do a little bit long, longer form video sometime in the future, stay tuned, where we talk a lot more about Rich. Now the backstory on this interview, this was my second day ever holding a microphone in front of the camera and do an interview. So grade me on the curve, if you will, please. And yes, I really did have that mustache. Uh, Greg Stevens, the awesome video pioneer. I had met him a couple months before. I was writing about racing and he was gonna come and cover the Kings Royal and ask if I would help him with the interviews. And that was a big day for me because uh, I got to interview Rich and Sammy Swindell, Doug Wolfgang, Bobby Allen. And um, that was just a great day. So hope you enjoyed this interview. More to come with stuff like this. Hope you like it. And once again, thanks for watching.